Hey YouTube, it is your girl Tay here back with another video. This video is going to be for the sign of Aries. And so if you do have Aries as your sun, moon, and a rising sign, there will be messages in here for you. Please take the part that resonates and leave the rest. Also, please keep in mind that this is not a one-to-one -one reading, but a general reading, okay? All right, Aries, so I've meditated on your cards here, and you have... Um, I feel like you are, you feel that you're bound to something at this time. You feel like you're bound to something, like you have no way out. Or I feel like there's a deep sense of, um, you feel powerless, okay, is what I'm getting. Your, your overall um, message is freedom, okay. So it says, I possess the power and the freedom and the free will to create my own happiness yes you do you possess the power and the free will to create your own happiness okay um yeah so i feel like i feel like maybe you're wanting to you 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 you're wanting to have more freedom in your life maybe um you feel that you're bound to a job or bound to a person bound to a circumstance where you you don't have as much freedom as you like to have okay um, so it says, remember, you are never a victim of other people or their circumstances. You have complete control over your own choices. By following your heart and being authentic to yourself, you present the real you to the world. You're, you are responsible for creating your own reality. So yes, yeah, so we're, we're all responsible for creating our own reality, um, this mindset that you have right now, I feel like it's just your thoughts. You're not, you're, you're never, you're never bound. You're never, um, I guess, powerless, okay? If you feel that way, if you think that way, then yeah, you are. But once you change your perspective and change your mind, I mean, you, you can make shit happen, just period. All right, next up you have friendship. Friendship, okay? So I feel like you, you could be thinking about a friend, you could be thinking about the times that you had in the past with someone, or you could be meeting someone new, okay? Friendship could mean a lot. Maybe you're, you're trying to figure out who you can trust, who you can talk to, who you can confide in, is what I'm getting. It says, I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Yeah, so we have people in our life for a reason. They're either here to teach us a lesson or they're here to just help us develop our soul's purpose develop our purpose in life okay um it says understand that everyone in your path is here to teach you something it may be for a year or a lifetime together you will teach each other various lessons or of the heart such as trust love loyalty and admiration a true friend will illuminate your path instead of dim it. Yeah, so maybe you're deciding who's really in your circle, who's really a friend to you, um, who you can actually depend on, who's in your corner is what I'm getting. I feel like you're, you're trying to figure that out at this time. I feel like you, you've had your, your fair share of fuckovers, people who are just in it for, I don't fucking know. Um, they're not in it to win it or they just in it just to be around, I don't know. But um, they're in your circle just to, just to be a fuck bitch or a fuck nigga. But I feel like you're walking away from that, all right? So you also have the devil. You have the devil, the four of wands, and the uh, four of swords, also the ten of wands. So I feel like with this energy, I feel like there is some type of addiction all right, there is some type of addiction here um, or something that you're trying to hide is what I'm getting. Now, you switch the roles that you see fit, but I feel like there's something that's being hidden. You also have the hermit clarifying it, okay? So something needs to, needs to come to light, okay? This could even be in the form of um, your eating habits or what you're consuming in your body, okay? Something that's being consumed needs to stop immediately, needs to cease, needs to stop because... I feel like it could, um, yeah, I just, you know, you definitely want to be, be careful is what I'm getting here. Okay. I'm getting heavy health concerns. Okay. So the hermit is something that needs to, that needs to, um, 
if you look closely, she's holding that that light. So there's something that there's something that needs to be. Um, and my nose is itching, so you take it as it resonates. But yeah, something needs to be brought to light. Maybe you're you're doing something that you don't know is really fucking harming your body. Or this could even be a person. Maybe you you're in a toxic ass relationship, and um, maybe you guys argue and fight all the fucking time. Okay, but I feel like I feel like this could be. If this is a relationship, I feel like you, you're wanting to be free from this. Yeah, you're wanting to, you're wanting freedom from this. But maybe you don't know how to release yourself. Maybe you don't know how to come out of this situation. I, I feel like this is a toxic cycle. I feel like y'all do the same shit every fucking year. If this does have to do with with a, um, with a relationship, yeah. All right. So with friendship, you have the four of ones and the four of ones clarifying it. Okay. So what I feel here is that you, you could be thinking about just um, a milestone that you've reached with, with someone. You could be thinking about your return, going home, just being in um, or going going somewhere where you're welcome, feeling welcome, being, being acknowledged, being just... Um, I feel like this is happiness. I feel like you, you will be happy here. Something could happen at four or eight o'clock. Something significant can happen at four or eight o'clock. And I feel like whatever the fuck this is, if this is news coming in, I feel like you will be happy, okay? Something's coming in that's gonna make you really fucking happy is what I'm getting. All right, you have the um, four of swords clarifying the six of pentacles. So you may feel like, you may feel like um, someone's being sneaky and deceptive. Okay, in, I'm, I'm thinking this is it in a work situation. Maybe you're focused on your money at this time, okay? Because you have the Six of Pentacles clarifying it. But I feel like you don't trust the people who you work around or you don't trust the people who's in your energy at this time. I feel like I'm hearing playing for keeps. So someone is being, someone is, is trying to win at all costs. And I feel like, um, I just feel like that's, it's not going to end well, Okay. Yeah, karma is a bitch. So, I mean, if this is you, change your energy because when you try to win at all costs, that's when shit get ugly. You have Ten of Wands and the Knight of Swords. So, I, you, I feel like you're a wounded warrior. I feel like you've accomplished so much and you continue, you continue to fight, you continue to strive, you continue through whatever. I feel like you're waiting on, you, you could be um, looking out for enemies or people who just give off badass vibes that you don't trust. I feel like you're just sitting up waiting like, yeah, bitch. <laughs> or I don't fucking know. Like, <laughs> it's weird. Like, I just feel like you've been through so much, but you're not going to give up. You're not letting no one come in and stop what the fuck you got going on. You're not. You're not. It's what I'm getting. Okay. All right. Next up, you have purpose purpose all right so it says i know what i am here to do absolutely you know what you're here to do you know what you're here to accomplish you know um it just you know you know your purpose in life is what i'm getting with that all right let's see let's see Yeah, so I just feel like, you know, you, you've been through the fucking fire. You have. You're wanting to be free from, um, I feel like you're just, you're, you're, you're go, getting better with the people who you trust, okay? You're not just chilling with everybody because you know people don't have good intentions. Um, and so I feel like you're freeing yourself from, from a, a toxic cycle, okay? In regards to purpose, it says, 
um, you have chosen to reincarnate on earth for one major goal, to express love in all that you do. It says the obstacles of this physical dimension can distract you from that goal, and it's easy to lose your way. Your purpose in life is not your career. Rather, your career is guided by your purpose. What activities speak to your soul? What brings you joy? That's the direction your soul is calling you toward to best convey your own unique expression of love and make a con contribution to the world. If you're not happy with your current circumstances, then that is your soul telling you that there is a better way to manifest your own distinct gifts. Yeah, so I feel like there's a need for you to do something that speaks to your soul. Do something that just, um, yeah, whatever you're doing, I feel like you're not happy here. And there's a need to, I feel like you're in your head about this as well. There's a need to you, for you to move on and move forward, okay? Forward movement is here. You have the Ten of Swords. So there, there is a major ending. There is a fucking major ending. I'm sorry, the Eight of Swords. But there, there is a major ending, okay? Um, I feel like you have mental, mental negativity that's going on in your head that needs to be released. I feel like you don't see nothing but your thoughts. You don't hear nothing but your thoughts. And it's very negative. It's, it's I'm getting sewage, sewage water. Yeah, there's a need to clean, do a cleanse. A spiritual cleanse, okay? Wow. Elevate your thoughts. Elevate your, your vibration is what I'm getting. Yeah, you can take a salt bath, okay? But you have negative, negative thinking, okay? And I feel like there's a need to release that shit immediately. Yes, there is, okay? Next up, you have the Ace of Cups. So the Ace of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so the Ace of Cups is the universe gifting you with something. It's it's um, you being your emotions being ha being fulfilled. It's you being happy. Okay. Yeah, so someone's gifting you something. You could have met someone new. Okay, you could have met someone who is just. Um, Maybe this person says the, all the right things, okay? Or <laughs> this is like really like lovey-dovey energy. Now, if this is not a person, this could be just um, maybe you, something, some, whatever has happened, something's making you happy, okay? This is the this is only the beginning of this, okay? This could even be um, an, a guess on a contract, okay? You've been approved for something is what I'm hearing. Yeah, congratulations. So I feel like that and also the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is your money. It is your finances. So maybe you've got the okay to, um, maybe you're in a position where you're not happy, you're not satisfied, and you got the okay to to go on to a different position or something that, that is more aligned to um, your personality, okay? Oh, excuse me. You could have allergies or something going on in the air. I don't fucking know. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Yeah, Aries. Okay. All right. Next up, you have grief. All right. So, I feel like you could be grieving in your near future. Okay. Um, it says, I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So, I feel that I feel that there is a need to hold lightly, hold lightly, um, in regards to anything. Grief is something that I mean, y'all y'all know what the fuck grief is, but what I'm saying is, what I see here, this could be in regards to. I, I really feel that this is in regards to a, like a financial opportunity. Okay. So maybe maybe your finances or 
or a relationship or what have you is not on the up and up and so one of you guys are leaving one of you guys are going on to do to greener pastures to do something grander bigger better something that meets your soul something that calls to your soul okay i feel like there is a need to let go there is a need to let go and i mean we have to evolve life is always evolving evolvement evolving is inevitable okay so you know we're we're all evolving period i don't know how else to say that um yeah but but we're, we're definitely all evolving okay let's see it says grief nothing is gone forever okay the belief that we have lost someone or something is merely an illusion to assist us in learning to appreciate our having had it in the first place. It says, allow your grief to take you to a place of deeper understanding. Yeah, so gr grieving or grief is just opportunity for growth is what I'm getting here. It is. No nothing is here forever. Nothing is gone forever. And so once you get that, um once you understand that i feel that it'll be you won't hold so tightly and you'll be able to release or let go more easily okay because you know that the universe is abundant you know that the divine everything happens in divine timing once you have that understanding um yeah i feel that that it will be easier in regards to grief okay next up you have king of cups and five of swords okay so i feel like your emotions are heightened at this time but you're balancing that shit out very fucking well you're sitting on your throne here i feel like you're i feel like you feel everything but you know um you're not making poor choices or you're not making you're not communicating your thoughts poorly I just feel like you're, you're not reacting off of emotion. You, you're making heart over or mind over heart decisions here. And you're, you're balancing out your emotions pretty fucking good. You also have the five of swords here. So I feel like you may feel that someone is sneaky. Someone is being deceptive. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you don't trust someone. You may feel that this person is someone, it may, could be younger than you, but I feel like you feel that this person is taking your spot or taking just um, what you look. They're trying to come after what you've accomplished, okay? Yeah. You have me mental negative thoughts about this. You do. And I feel like you're not confronting this person or anything, but you, you're just, I feel like you're just looking at them. It's like you're looking at them, but you, but in your mind, your mind is saying one thing, but your mouth is saying another thing, if that makes sense. So I feel like you don't trust this person. You think this person is coming for your spot, okay? Um, I'm hearing, I want to be just like you. I want to do what you do. Or some shit, I don't fucking know. All right, um, next up you have Three of Cups and self-appreciation, okay? So Three of Cups, okay, that's beautiful. That's a union, that's you being, um, that's you being brought into the community, you being accepted for who you are, okay? So I feel like you have people in your corner that, that meet your energy, people who you cooperate with, you feel me? Um, your sisters, brothers, whoever the fuck this is. I feel like there's there is a union here. You guys could be celebrating a milestone together or you, you, you could just be chilling, relaxing, going out, having drinks, whatever it is. I feel like you guys are having a good time together. Um, I also feel like your, your um advice is self-appreciation i feel that there's a need for you to appreciate yourself appreciate what you what comes along with you um when you when you, when you are in presence when 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 your presence is here when your presence when you are um i'm trying to figure out how to say it when you are present in someone's energy okay i feel that there's a need to appreciate yourself more because i feel that you you don't appreciate yourself and so that causes others to feel like they don't appreciate you either 
is what I'm getting here. So there's need for self-love, for healing here. There is. Yeah, I feel like I feel like you need to understand that you are enough. You are enough. It says, I will find a moment throughout the day that I can dedicate to myself. Find a comfortable space and bring a pen and paper. I will write a letter of appreciation to myself where I will pour love into who I am and all that I do. I feel like you do a lot. I feel like you're very selfless, okay? And, and I, I feel like you're, you're, you're probably someone who always does things for other people. But spirit is asking you to slow down, to appreciate yourself, to appreciate who you are and the energy that you carry. Yes, to appreciate just um, your energy, your, your, your presence. Yes, you are enough. Okay. Yeah, you don't have to always bring something. You don't have to always spend money. Yeah, you don't have to always just buy people things. You just, you alone. You alone are enough, Aries. That's what I'm getting, okay? Yes. All right, Aries. Well, that is really all I have for you guys today. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. I want to thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and fucking with me. Talk to me. I'll talk back. And until next time, bye, Aries.